host Marissa, also known as Homemaking with Marissa. Today's video is going to be four different holiday coffee recipes. All of these are going to be dairy-free recipes that you can easily recreate at home. I love finding ways to make different seasonal coffees and Christmas is my favorite time to try to find a way to make festive flavored coffees at home and save myself quite a bit of money on takeout coffee. If this is something that you're interested in and haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button down below, as well as turning on bell notifications so that you know when I upload. I'm going to start by making a holiday spiced coffee. In my opinion, this coffee just smells like Christmas. We are going to be taking a combination of different dried spices and adding them to this small mixing bowl. I have added two teaspoons of ground cardamom. I just find that at the grocery store. And next I'm going to add two teaspoons of ground nutmeg, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and then to our cardamom, nutmeg, and cinnamon mixture, I am going to add one teaspoon of ground clove. Clove is a very potent spice, which is why I would not recommend adding it in the same ratio as the other three spices. I'm going to make sure that our spices are really well mixed together before I add them to our coffee. I am going to be using a plain dark roast coffee for this recipe. I brewed an entire pot of coffee, so whatever your preference is on the amount of coffee you would use for an entire pot is what I would recommend doing. To your coffee grounds, you're just going to mix in a half teaspoon of your seasonings. You want to make sure that the seasonings are really well mixed into the coffee grounds and you get a good disbursement of coffee and spices. Then you are just going to brew your coffee like normal. To our spiced holiday coffee, I am going to add some holiday nog. This is a dairy-free holiday nog that I find at just the regular grocery store. It's made by Good Karma and has, it tastes similar to eggnog, just has some additional spices that have been added. I am going to take my magic bullet, pour in enough coffee for a full cup of coffee, and then add a splash of the holiday nog. I add all of these ingredients to the magic bullet to make sure that they're really well mixed together, and it does create a little bit of froth. Because I am using a dairy-free milk, it isn't going to froth up a ton, but it does add a little bit of extra froth to our coffee and makes it a really creamy, nice consistency. Once our coffee has been fully blended together, I am going to transfer it to a coffee mug. I am using this Dinosaur Christmas coffee mug that I found this year at Hobby Lobby. I think that it's this absolutely adorable little Christmas mug. I'm pouring in our coffee and then I'm going to top this coffee with a little dusting of our spice mixture. Our next coffee is inspired by maple brown sugar oatmeal. I am going to start with this barista blend of oat milk. This comes from Kroger and I think is available at multiple different grocery stores. To our coffee, I am also going to be adding some maple syrup as well as some brown sugar. I am going to be using my milk frother that comes from Nespresso to mix up these ingredients. If you don't have this specific milk frother, there are less expensive alternatives on Amazon. I will link my specific milk frother as well as a more budget-friendly version in the description box down below. I am going to be 
frothing half of a cup of oat milk, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of maple syrup. I mix all of the ingredients right into the Nespresso. I don't know if it's technically recommended to add anything other than the liquid to this, but I've never had any problems by adding additional ingredients and frothing them together. Now, once again, because this is a dairy-free milk, it is not going to froth up as much as if you're using a traditional 2% whole milk or a cream. I'm going to fill our mug with regular brewed coffee. I am not using any sort of flavored coffee for this specific recipe. To the coffee, I pour in the oat milk, the maple, and the brown sugar. This is a pretty sweet cup of coffee since it has a full tablespoon of brown sugar and a full tablespoon of maple syrup, so it's definitely something that I categorize as a treat. Third coffee is a cinnamon latte. To make our cinnamon syrup, I am taking one cup of water, one cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I am going to mix all of these ingredients into our saucepan and heat them over a medium low heat for about seven minutes. You just want to make sure that your spices and your sugar all dissolve into the water. While our syrup is being prepared, I am just going to make a coconut whipped cream. I took a third of a cup of coconut cream, one teaspoon of confectionery sugar, and a splash of vanilla extract, mixed it all up in the magic bullet. This will not come together the same way that regular whipped cream will, but it does still provide that whipped cream-like flavor and consistency. Here's what your syrup will look like once it has completely dissolved and is ready to be transferred to a mason jar. I always store my simple syrups in a mason jar and this particular recipe will last for quite a while in the refrigerator. To prepare our coffee, I am going to pour in just some regular brewed coffee and then spoon in a couple of spoonfuls of our cinnamon syrup mixture. This is completely to your taste preferences. I put about three large spoonfuls into our coffee and made sure that it was really well mixed together before I added the coconut cream. Coconut cream can be a little bit clumpy sometimes, so instead of putting it on the top like a regular whipped cream, I like to just mix it into my coffee until it completely dissolves. I topped this coffee with just a light dusting of cinnamon. Our fourth coffee is going to be a cold brew coffee. I am serving mine over ice, though cold brew can be served without ice in the cup. I've put ice into a mason jar. I'm just going to pour our cold brew over the top. I do have a coffee pot that makes cold brew. I will link it in the description box down below if that's something that you're interested in. These drops are stevia flavored peppermint drops and you do have to be a little bit conservative when you're adding them. I put about half of a dropper full into my coffee. And in my opinion, this coffee is a perfect dupe of a peppermint mocha from Starbucks. My favorite Starbucks order is getting a cold brew with peppermint and the chocolate almond cold foam. This is my interpretation of finding a way to recreate that for far less money at home. I'm going to just top our coffee with a little splash of our chocolate almond milk. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already by clicking on my face here. I will include my entire holiday playlist for you here as well as an additional video here. I hope you're all staying happy and healthy. Bye!